Uh, last one before we take a break. Daniel Jones, the Giants quarterback, says that new coach Brian Daybol is seeking his input in developing the team's playbook. That's that's just good coaching. We, we say it all the time. It's not about the system the coach wants to run. It's about the players he has and the plays they like to do, the plays they think they'll be successful running, and the plays that they don't think they'll be successful running. You do the things they want to do and that they can do well. You don't do the things that they can't do and don't do well. 100%. That's right. I mean, Dayball's smart. And again, I mean, we we saw he's the master at this maybe in football with what he did with Josh Allen. I mean, nobody gave Josh Allen a chance coming out of Wyoming, but he continued to do things that Josh Allen did well, and they built on that. And the things he didn't do as well, they slowly got better. So yes, he's going to talk to you know Daniel Jones. He wants him to feel comfortable with the plan attack. And the biggest thing, and to where I think this is brilliant, and this is what good offensive coaches do in football, they make the quarterback feel like they have ownership of the offense. So then when the team gets in there and you have your first practice and workouts, the quarterback is going to know some things already. He's going to know, okay, wait, I've been coached a little bit, so I can coach you guys and do all that. But he's going to believe in the system and the plays that are being put in and everything because he knows he's behind it. And he's had the conversations with the coach already. So now, not only is the coach selling it to the players, but the quarterback can sell it to the players of, hey, I like these plays. We like these plays. They're good. And that's how, you know, to your point, Mike, is exactly right. That's how successful organizations work. Next big question for the Giants, will they pick up that fifth-year option on Daniel Jones? It's going to be hard to reconcile not picking it up with all the things that were said when Joe Shane was hired as GM, when Dayball was hired as coach, the things John Maris said. It's going to be hard to thread that needle between we really, really like him, we really believe in him, we really want to develop him. We're just not ready to commit to him yeah, yeah. beyond the 2022 season. Yeah, you know, you're right. It's it's an interesting you know way they are where they have put themselves in that position. But I will go back to you know something I know I've said. I know you and I have talked about it. John Mara discussed it right after the year. It's it is hard to know what Daniel Jones truly is. It's been, he's been behind the worst offense in, offensive line in football in the NFL the last two or three years. It's the worst. It's not like, ooh, maybe the worst, or you know, there's a handful of teams. It is the worst offensive line in football. So it's really hard. And you're right. We'll see. But I, I, I am in the camp of I like Daniel Jones. I still believe in him, but I don't want to give him a fifth-year option yet. I don't. I'm a Giants fan, and I want the Giants to play it cool. And Daniel Jones, I think, is smart enough and mature enough to know the situation and let it all play out, and hopefully he kicks butt, and then we can reward him with a big contract after the year's over. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.